So my name is Alfred. I'm 25, and I'm from Edmonton, Canada. Edmonton, Canada, and now you live in Houston. Yeah, yeah. What brings you down? To, what brought you down to Houston? I uh, just our family moved, kind of when I was in high school. When you're in high school, yeah. so are you an American citizen? Uh, actually, just last year, yeah. So I'm a dual Canadian and American citizen. What do you do for a living? So I'm in med school right now in the MD MBA program at UTMB and Clear Lake. So I'm a full time student. What year are you? How, many, how, uh, how so much? I'm a, I'm a fourth year, so I'm almost done. I'm going to graduate in 2023. That explains all the student loans yeah. that we're going to talk about. Yeah. The endless amount. <laughs> okay. Wow, cool. So what, what's your specialty that you're going into? Uh, so I'm actually applying to psychiatry. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So what are you going to do? What's your job? Gonna oh, be? yeah. So the MBA is more or, or less um, just to have more options after residency. So residency should be the same. But afterwards, like I could start my own clinic or just have a more of an administrative role. Or like work in a med school, oh. like kind of like a president role, or so just having more options after. And okay. also, I just I was just interested in it. So, so you want to work more on the administrative side than uh, in the future, like maybe like twenty years after. Would, will you be a psychologist? A uh, psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. Yeah. I heard psych. So no, oh. no, no, it's MD. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes so much more sense yeah. now. Okay, thank you. I was okay. Yeah, yeah I was a little confused there. So. Yeah. You know, right off. So the I'm I'm still applying right now, actually. So yeah. Right off the bat, how much student loan debt did you go into for this? Uh, so honestly, it's pretty good compared to the average. So for Texas med schools, like, what is it? It's like uh, at least UTMB is like 25k a year. So that's like half the average compared to like California or other places in the U.S. So it's it's actually pretty good. So the 20, so that's med school. Undergrad was mostly already paid off. And the MBA was also pretty cheap. It was maybe like six or seven K and that's it. So it's so a 25 each year for tuition. And I was staying with my parents, so I didn't have to pay money for rent or anything. That's good. Yeah. So how much in total are you in student debt right now? Uh, so right now, so after the, cause I, I would, I do qualify under the Biden's loan forgiveness for the 10 K. So that gets rid of all my U.S. student loans. And for the Canadian ones, I have a lot more. So Canadian, I have around 120 Canadian. So that's probably more like, I had to do the conversion, but maybe like 90 or 100-ish US, yeah. Okay, cool, so let's jump into your money and then we'll definitely take a look at these loans and, well, cool. what does a psychiatrist make? No. So, uh, so, so when you start residency, it's like usually around 60K. Sorry, you're just starting residency. Yeah. 50K for how many years, Three 60K, years? so for 60. Uh, around usually four years. And then after that, you'll make 250 to 300 and that's usually how much it is and then it can go up 250 to 300 well at least you have that yeah dang yeah no that that's great yeah so we have a couple checking accounts yeah um yeah. pretty much the the nothing checking account first yeah 634 dollars yeah and absolutely nothing happened yeah what's up with that it was just uh, i was just an old savings account i don't really use it or touch it oh it's, it was a savings account yeah okay yeah and then you have this checking account with Chase. Yeah. Beginning balance four thousand ninety three, additions of five thousand one hundred and seventy six, yeah. withdraws seven thousand five hundred, leaving you with a thousand seven hundred sixty nine. So yeah. a lot taken out. Yeah. I'd have to look at the ones taken out, but yeah, yeah. That makes sense, yeah. Well, in here, uh there was definitely lots of zelling to people. Yeah. That sounds right. Yeah, lots of zelling. That take that took up a lot. Black folio? Oh yeah, that's um, that's FTX, yeah. And Zellin, and then uh, to your mom, three thousand dollars. Yeah. Why? Oh, uh, just because uh, I think one of the credit cards were due, and you can see some of the authorized goes through her account. So even if I use it, it'll go through her account. So it's kind of just paying off what I use or my brothers, but it, it's just all kind of together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Because a lot of, there's a lot of authorized cards and those are all through my mom's checking account. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Okay. Yeah. But you also have some credit cards. Yeah. Yeah. So for someone who doesn't make any money right now, right? Yeah. Right now. Yeah. 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 Okay. And, um, has a lot of student debt. Yeah. You spend a good amount of money. Uh, yeah, it depends on, I guess you can go through it, like which which transactions caught your eye. Okay, well, on this credit card, purchases is a six seventy three. Now, do you ever hold a balance on credit cards? No, that's good, and that's what I was noticing going through them. Yeah, but just wanted to make sure. 
Six seventy three. Uh, was that Walmart or did it tell you? You had a six hundred dollar purchase at Walmart, and then the rest were just yeah. grocery. What was six hundred dollars? So that at was Walmart? actually a PS five for my friend, and he just zelled me back. That's he, he zelled you back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, then that's fine. I'm okay with okay. that. But your Discover card, definitely yeah. lots of purchases that are. Well, it's interesting. Uh, Samsung, Samsung, yeah. Uber Eats, Uber Eats, uh, a Google Pay, Lenovo Corporation, yeah. Uber Eats, Uber Eats, Google Pay, eBay, and Neba, and Neba. Yeah, uh, that's a that's like three. a game reseller, like for Xbox games. Oh, okay. Yeah, and Google Storage again, which is definitely not, you know. Yeah, the Google necessity. Storage was a trial, so that's already canceled. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then a photo order. Yeah. That was for my residency application. So it is 30 bucks for the photo. Okay. Well, that's fair if it's for that. Yeah. Absolutely. And then on an American Express, you know, new charges of 1654 not yeah. making money. Yeah. What is this? AAMC 2000. Yeah. So this is the unusual thing for the month. So this is... Only for the, this is paying for the residency, the applications. Oh, wow. Yeah. How many did you apply to? Around 100 schools. Wow. Yeah. And I mean, I guess you have to, right? I mean, that's just how it uh, goes. Yeah, that's just how it goes. Just to be safe. So you at least get in somewhere. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So how is this paid for? Uh, that's just paid. I just had loans so I could pay with student loans. <laughs> oh. Or actually, my parents did help pay too. And C tickets. Freaky. Oh, yeah. So that, um, we just bought tickets for everyone. And then we got paid back through uh, Venmo. Tickets of what? Uh, for a concert in Baytown at the uh, end of this month. Okay. How much was your individual ticket? So our, so me and my two brothers are going. So ours total was like 330. And so everything else was paid back. Yeah. All right. So question just kind of, yeah. we've barely gone into this thing, but. Sure. Going into debt in order to do what you want to do. Yeah. Why do you spend money right now if you're going into debt? Oh, uh, oh, like you mean like going to a concert? Money on things that isn't just for your survival. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess uh, that money is not really going into debt. It's more or less covered. How? Like my, my parents will I could just cover it. They're, because my brother's coming. He's traveling from Sweden to here. So it's more of just like a treat for him. So my parents will just cover that. Of all your Zelle payments to people and yeah. all these... Uh, like Enba and or yeah, Enba. Eniba, yeah, Eniba and Uber Eats and all that stuff. Yeah, your parents covering that. So the Uber Eats, we get credits from the credit card itself. I think it's like twenty five dollars each each month. Oh, I think actually one was a tip. So eleven and then three and then fifteen. So this is actually okay. Fifteen because yeah. there is the tip. Yeah. 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 Good call out. Okay. Um, and that's the reason why we use Uber Eats, just because we get credits. From the platinum and the gold card. That's okay as long as you don't spend over that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then like the those games and the uh, yeah, that's not the G O O. What's that? Uh, is that Google or G O O? Oh, Google Pay Me G O O. I don't I don't know what it was, but it was one hundred seventy bucks merchandise. It says. Um, I'd have to look at my Google Pay. It's probably something I know what it is. Uh, I just have to check. So what's your mindset though? I'm I'm curious. Oh yeah, going yeah. into debt, yeah, yeah, still spending money on things that aren't just for pure survival? Uh, usually, it's like, if there's just a really good deal, like if that, I think um, there was like a tablet, that Samsung tablet, like this is like $400, if it's only $100. My brother wants it for his, for studying and stuff, so then it's worth it. So usually, if there's old, either really good deal, or uh, otherwise, we just don't buy it. Or if, there's, or if we're getting back money from the credit card, like the platinum card, you'll get 25 bucks each month. The gold card, you'll get 10 bucks for the Uber Eats. Even or, uh, this good deal of $100 for yeah, a $400 yeah, that, thing, did yeah. he pay you back? Uh, yeah, he did, yeah. He okay. Just, uh, he'll, no, uh, I'm talking so. money just of your spending. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll pay me back, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking money of just your own spending, though. Yeah. Oh, the mindset or, like, what's the question? Um, your mindset, uh, yeah. the, the money that is just your spending, the yeah. mindset behind actually spending that money on things that are not just for survival when you're yeah. going... Tens and tens of thousands of dollars in student loans. Okay, I guess the mindset is just to limit how much I spend, but I can still have a few things that are fun. Like usually, I don't. Act, this is actually more I spend than usual, but I don't um, don't cut off everything just because the student loans are all interest free, like for a while actually. 
I, I think I put. But notes. it's still debt that you owe. Yeah, that's true. So you're in debt. Some of them being high interest that we'll get into. Yeah. But still spending money. Yeah, that's that's true. That's fair. Are you think? Do you think you're allowed to have a life while you're going into student debt that you'll? Well, I, I'll pay back the student debt. Well, yeah, you'll yeah. have to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, not yeah. not much of a choice there. Yeah. Except for the uh, 10K, which is a very small 10 for you. But that does cover the American it, it, part, it, yeah, that's, which is it, cool. It is really cool, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's let's continue going through this. Okay. Um, so we have some different portfolio stuff. Yeah. Um, this one, I wasn't 100% sure if this came with anything else or if this was on its own. That was on its own. That was on its own. So yeah. what's... Uh, da, 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 da. What all is in here because it kind of gets cut off, or is it just these two? It's just those two. So Bitcoin and ADA. Yeah. Uh, you have two hundred twenty-two dollars of Bitcoin, hundred thirty dollars of ADA. Yeah. Okay. Right. So big into crypto. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that based on all the portfolios and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So interesting. Yeah. We're buying crypto even though we are going. Yeah. Into uh, a lot of debt. Yeah. Yes, that's true. So we have with FTX, yeah, uh, woo, a total net value of four thousand three hundred ninety-three. Yeah, most of it is Bitcoin and then Ethereum. Ethereum. Yeah. So, how have these been doing as of late? Uh, so uh, those were actually kind of just break even. They haven't really gone up, haven't gone down. They've just been kind of the same because I bought them early twenty twenty, late twenty nineteen. So they did go up like when there was the big bull run and then they went back down. So it's kind of, this hasn't really done anything. And then your Robin Hood. Yeah. So the Robin Hood, I could kind of explain it. So the Robin Hood, I don't actually do anything with it. That's, this is all my dad picking stocks and using my account. For some reason he wanted to use, he has his own account, but he also wanted to use mine and my brother's account. I, I didn't really understand why. Is any of this yours? No, none of this is mine. <laughs> so this doesn't <laughs> even matter. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was uh, excited uh, yeah. that you may have had an extra $15,000 just there. Yeah. You have student loans. Yeah. The student loans, I think, is the biggest debt, but I don't have any debt yeah, anywhere else. Yeah, so it's half the pile. Yeah. That's good. I'm yeah. glad. Yeah. You own a car? Yeah. Uh, so I own, I honestly, our family owns four cars, and I can just drive one of the four. How old are you? 25. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, all the cars are paid off, so there's no debt on those. Your family is a very big help for you. Yeah, that's true. Also, same. They've also helped both my brothers too. What yeah. are, they, are they also going they're, to medical? They're all med school. Wow. Yeah. Are your parents medical? No, they're, my dad's an engineer and my mom's a teacher. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Whew. A lot of family debt probably yeah, right uh, about now. Well, actually, my oldest brother's paid off and he's like doing residency right now for neurology. So he's a. Uh, wow, neurology. That pays money, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, here, it's like 400, 350K. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, so that, that definitely does pay. Yeah. And my brother's one year younger than me. He's also in med school, yeah. So UTMB. Yeah. So that's how much I have left to pay in okay. the spring. Let me start getting these notes down. Oh, so you owe that. So I owe that, yeah. The I think it was around, after the, the aid, it should be around like 3000 right? Because I got some student aid and yeah. some grants, yeah. And how will that the rest of it be paid? Uh, the rest. What do you mean the rest? The three thousand. If so, three thousand nine hundred. Yeah. Is covering a part, right? Yeah. What's the remainder being paid with? Oh, uh, the remainder I have. I already have uh, Alberta and Canada loans from another student loan. Yeah. Okay. But those were already taken out too, so those are come on the way. Okay. Now these are separate. These are something different. Uh, so that is my Great Lakes U.S. loans that should be covered under the Biden 10K. Oh, cool. Yeah. Good. Because there is one in here with almost 7% interest. Oh, uh, yeah. Those are all covered. Good. So 2,500, 5,500, 5,500. Yeah. 5, yeah. Wait, you're Pell Grant? No, I'm a, just regular. Uh, one well, this of, is over 10,000. Uh, some of these student loan things just absolutely suck to yeah, read. They, it just looks weird. But one of them is like pretty much paid off. It was already paid off before. Uh, oh, yes. Thank you. They absolutely hid that. Yeah. Okay. So 5,500 and then. And then the 2,500. 2,500. So that will be covered. Good. So 
Oh, cool. So that'll be. So we're not going to count that right now. Yeah. So those are all. It should be should be covered, but, but we don't know if the that will all happen. Yeah, and stuff but like most that. likely it should, unless like the Republicans challenge it or something. Well, it's mostly the courts, and there's already legal challenges. We'll just have to see what yeah judges say. But we're not going to think okay. about it right now because yeah. Yeah. we're just going to go with the current mindset that it'll be forgiven. Yeah. Alberta student loan. Yeah. So this is all upcoming. these are what you owe, correct? Individually. Uh, all these are. Loans I will receive. So this is like December. No, receive. This will. isn't even. So dude. Alberta, everything totaled should be seventy one k, and Canada everything totaled should be around fifty k. Yeah, sure. Canadian. Okay, so you will be borrowing these. Yikes! 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 That's a lot of money to still borrow. Yeah. Oh. And I just said borrow like a Canadian. Now that we're looking at all yeah. these Canadian loans, this is coming through apparently. Yeah. Oi, 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 oi. Yeah. These you owe, correct? Uh, what is that? The Yes, those yeah, are I'm just the flying Canada. them in your face. <laughs> yeah, the Canada, yeah. Uh, so 39,000 and 39,000 and, yeah. and 35,000 and 20,000. Yeah. And Dude, uh, it's horrible. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. That's But at least it'll be interest free for the first 6 months. And I can the, the Alberta six one, month after residency, hopefully. No, the uh, that, the Canada one is uh, during residency, but That's the, Al, the crap, Alberta because you make yeah. crap. But the Alberta one is for all the residency; it's interest free. Okay, so this one's all residents. All residents, yeah. So for the fifty five thousand dollars, that's not the Alberta. Yeah, you have Canada. six months of grace period. Yeah, and then it is the f- uh, fixed interest rate. Yeah. Or you can pick. You can pick the fixed or variable. And the fixed would be... Just whatever the prime rate prime is. Prime rate is plus 2%, though? Uh, is that what I wrote? So it plus 2% or 2, so I'm not sure. Can I see this? Let's Go see. for it. Prime rate plus 2%. Yeah. Because so the, the advantage of the fixed rate is, like, say, it was if it was during COVID and it was really low, the prime rate, so if it was, like, a 1%, mm-hmm. then plus 2 would only be 3. And that's fixed for the entire loan. So, but the floating, it just depends what it is right now. For the fix, when is the fix decided, though? So, the f- you can change at any time. The default is floating. So, you have one chance to change it to fix. So, you can leave it floating, floating, floating. Oh, Shouldn't it's really you do that now as no, interest rates continue to climb? I can't. I can only do it once I enter yeah. repayment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I'm learning something today because yeah. I never think about Canadian student loans. So, this, yeah. is, this is actually really cool. Um. So fix plus two percent, and right now the Canadian prime rate yeah, it's is like at five point yeah, yeah. F- uh, four five. Yeah, so Which right will, now it would just be better to stay as floating, if I were to be in because I would just put in floating because seven percent is pretty high for a fixed. Yeah. Yeah, so I would just leave it as floating right now. Only if it went pretty low would I would even consider. But even floating would still be that five point yeah four five. So floating would be five point five four. Okay. Five. So no matter what, they're gonna be. As likely interest rates continue, likely for Canada yeah, as well. Yeah, it'll probably go up. It'll be a at really least, not good interest rate. At least in the short term, it'll be going up, yeah. But but the only thing is that if you look at the disbursement, so I only need like 3K to pay the rest of my UTMB off. Mm-hmm. And I, I have like 30K coming in from Alberta and Canada. So I can use all that Alberta to pay off the Canada. To start yeah. paying it off. So that'll be 30 to the 55? Yeah. Okay. So I, ju- I want to get rid of the Canada as soon as possible. So there will still be a good amount, but that will help. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. And then your Alberta, yeah. 71000 This one's a little nicer because it, you yeah. know, it through graces residency. you through yeah. residency. Through all the residency, yeah. Which is good because you're not going to, I mean, $60,000 is still a good income in general, but when it comes with all this debt, yeah. it becomes hard. Yeah. So, because this is actually, 71000 is over the 16000 so. Yeah. Interest rate similar to the Canada loans. By default, the interest rate charge is set by a floating rate. Yeah. Imperial Bank, prime rate plus one. And you can request a fixed rate again, which is Imperial plus 2%. Dang. So the interest rates on these are going to suck no matter what. Uh, depending on the market, yeah. Depending on the market, the, yeah. Well, residency is a long time from now, so there's actually yeah. that's a, that's a lot of unknown for where interest rates are. Yeah. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if they're a little lower at this point because yeah. if we have to keep raising it through four years, like that's a lot. Like that's a long time. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. 
So it should hopefully be lower by then. But lower or at least pretty similar. Yeah. So that's a lot of student loans now. Nothing else, right? Yeah. No. Just no that? debt. No debt. That's it. For also. a medical student, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. For a medical student, I'm. I don't want to vomit. I mean, I absolutely want to vomit everywhere because it's a. It's yeah. a ton of money. Yeah, but I'm just so glad it's Canada versus the U.S. Oh sure, yeah. U.S. loans, their terms are a lot worse. And you're getting interest the whole time, so yeah. So you'll have to pay back just under a hundred thousand after everything is said and done. Everything. After you put yeah. the thirty k towards, yeah, and then the student loans are forgiven for the United States. Yes. So yeah. that'll be ninety six thousand. That's still a lot of debt. Yeah. Good news. You said you'd be starting around what was it two fifty? Uh, as a just post starting, yeah, plus residency. So once I'm full attending. Starting is two fifty, a two two fifty to three hundred, anywhere in that range. Okay. Yeah. So what I would say, I mean, this. What what, what do you think I'm gonna say? Uh, so I guess I think what I think is, during residency, just to save up, as much as I can. Don't like have high expenses. So actually, that's one of my plans is hopefully to match somewhere in in the Galveston or Houston area because I could still stay at home. So I don't need to pay rent. I don't need to pay car payment. I don't need to pay anything. So I could just save everything and then pay off the Canada loan as fast as possible because that's getting interest after six months. So once I pay those off, uh, just save up so I can hopefully pay the Alberta loans like almost right away once I'm done residency. So then I won't incur interest on the Alberta loans. And, and all of that is kind of depending on where I match. So if I match in Galveston or Houston, that would be the best option because I don't have to... I don't have to get rent. I don't need a mortgage. I don't need a house. I don't need to move anything. So I think, yeah, that, that's what I think you're going to say. Just to save up. Um, I don't know, like, what you think about putting any money in a Roth IRA. That's not all yet. I, not, okay. No, because these interest rates are not going to be good for what it is. So, like, 5.5 is too high. You're yeah. Because I know you were saying before some 10% S&P, but it depends. Yeah, but it's the general rule in the personal finance space is, like, yeah. really, like, 4%. Oh, okay. it's like if okay. it's over four percent, then try to pay it off quick. Okay, so if it's over four percent, pay off the loans first. Okay. Yeah, but also there is. Um, I've been thinking about this a lot lately, and I want to do a lot of math around it. I mean, at some point, like if someone has like two hundred fifty thousand dollars in four percent loan, like I guess it depends on their income and stuff like that. But oh, like okay. that, pay it off or not? Yeah. Pay it off like quickly or just do the minimum monthly payment because that just has such a high level of risk that would be due on a monthly basis if okay. you know. In unfortunate event were to happen, so yeah. uh, I actually I want to do some math around that and then kind of have a concrete opinion. But I do not have that today. However, this is what I would do: non official financial advice if I were in your shoes. When okay. you start residency, yeah, preferably in this Houston area, yeah, you put five hundred twenty one dollars a month towards Canadian student loans. Okay, sure, probably Canadian. a little higher. Let's call it five fifty so, because of interest. So I'm guessing I'm going to move the Alberta loans I get and pay off as much as Canadian loans with that as I can, right? So I'll do that first. Yes. Okay. And so I think after that, I'll have maybe like 15K Canadian. 25. Or 25. Okay. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. So around 20 or something. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And with the interest at $550 a month that you'll put towards it. Yeah. By the end of residency. Yeah. It should it'll be. be $0. Yeah. It'll definitely be $0. Yeah. If it's $550 a month, if you do less yeah. than that. Okay. No, I'll, I'll definitely pay more than that probably. Yeah, that would be yeah. great if you can. But yeah. that's the minimum that you put towards it. Okay. Uh, now, I do want you to have a couple thousand dollars set aside as well for, like, an emergency fund. Okay. And I might pull from crypto in order okay. to start that. I really would. Because you need to have some kind of emergency basis. Okay. So, so for the emergency fund, um, like, what emergencies could happen that I would need it? That's, that's kind of... Yeah. I want your opinion on... Well, there, the medical is always... Yeah, so medical it, is, like, everything's covered during residency. You no, get no. really good health care. Well, I guess in your situation, with, so you're not going to have a car emergency probably because of the no, family. No. Uh, but there is something medical that could happen to you. And even if with yeah. really good coverage, uh, which I hope so. And Yeah, no, um, there is really good health care coverage. Yeah. yeah. Is it 100% free no matter what? If you get the worst cancer in the world, is it free for you? Uh, well, 
if that actually happened, I would just move back to Alberta and it'll be free. Uh, then eventually when you have your own life, because you're going to be transitioning clo- more to your own life versus your family's life yeah, throughout eventually. this. So that's where just having, I think if you just had a couple thousand dollars on the side while you're doing residency, yeah. that's fine. There's a couple. Now, if that. you have to get your own apartment because you're not able to settle around the Houston area, yeah. then, it then definitely. Yeah. Uh, but no matter what, $550 a month of this and it's gone in four years. It'll pretty much be paid off like the day you're done with the residency. Yeah. And then there's $71,135 left. You make $250,000, yeah. we're going to guess. Yeah. At the minimum, yeah. You are going to live on a monthly basis like you make $100,000 a year. Yeah, that'll and be then, easy because that'll be way more than how much I was making. In residency, yes. I was only making sixty. yeah. Exactly. Except, yeah. well, at this point, you'll probably have to have an apartment in your own car. Oh, and yeah. Some stuff. Guess, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but unless you're continuing to stay at home and you become a full-fledged uh, doctor. Oh, I, I, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and then you just pay this off under a year easy. Yeah. Yeah. You just li- And then all of a sudden, and then you have okay. $250,000 a year again. Yeah. And what do you do from there? You invest 20%. Not all into crypto this time. Okay. You're probably going to... Uh, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, you're not going to qualify. You can backdoor. Oh, though. yeah. You can backdoor. Instead of crypto, you'll be investing into different index funds and stuff like that. You yeah. can have some crypto. Any of the risky investments that you want to do in your stock portfolio, whether that be art or yeah. vehicles for some reason or crypto or something like that, 25% or less of your entire portfolio. Okay. Put the rest into like S&P 500 based index funds okay. type. If you just open it with Fidelity, they'll have really simple options okay. and packages for you to choose. So it, it get, it's really simple. Okay, so you would recommend Fidelity, I guess? Fidelity is great, okay. yeah, because it's like there's barely any fees, Okay. which is okay. really cool. Okay. And then, you know, if there's like a 401k match at the hospital and stuff like that. Yeah, I think um, there might be. Yeah. Take it. Okay. Max that out. Okay. Um. And then just 20% of your income there, 50% on needs, 20, uh, yeah. 30% on wants. Yeah. You're going to be really wealthy. You're going to be, you're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to become a millionaire pretty quickly. Just yeah. immediately what you should do, wear I in your shoes. $550 a month while you're in residency to pay off that 25000 okay. and then live like yeah. you make $100,000 a year, which is not hard. $100,000 yeah, a year that's, is great. That's, that's pretty easy, especially in Texas. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. easy. Yeah, well, not Austin, but... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, like pay off the other in like, what, seven, eight months, something like that. And then probably at, uh, during that process, you're probably going to want to, once you're done with residency, if you're not in the Houston area, you'll probably want to save up like twenty. Thirty thousand oh, dollars in cash yeah. and get a car, your own oh, get car. A car. Okay, probably like twenty thousand dollars. Honestly, at that point, I think for you, our parents would just give us like one of the cars. If they do, that's great. Yeah, um, then you can skip that step, and then yeah, start okay. looking for uh, saving for a mortgage if that's okay. something you're interested in. Yeah, I would be interested. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my thoughts. I mean, do you have any final thoughts or questions? I mean, it's kind of straightforward because you really just have the, all the student loan debt. And all the student loans, and you do spend. More money than I would like someone to spend when they are already going into debt, I okay. would cut that back. Okay, yeah, and, I can do that. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, well, the the the, the loan situation is almost done, so you already have official everything that you need to finish school. Yeah. So just really, if you want to start attacking, well, you can't just stop spending money and any money that you would have spent, start attacking that smaller one if you can. Oh, the Maybe. Canada one? Yeah. Okay, so you're saying... If you're you, able to. Okay, so you're saying pretty much during residency, just keep it simple, just save money and attack the student loans. That's it. Yeah, I mean, just okay. you'll have it done by the time residency is done. Pay it off quicker if you can. I'm just okay. trying to make sure you you get through residency yeah. uh, in a you know in a nice, secure way and you're yeah. set up to tackle the other one once residency is done. I know you could do it quicker if you wanted to. You could do $1,000 yeah. a month. Oh, so I guess if there is like a match... Put that in too while I'm still paying the student loans, like during residency. Yeah, I always take the match, free money. Yeah. Unless it somehow gets in the way. Usually that's not the issue. Okay. If it is for some reason the issue, people just can't stop investing and it's preventing them from paying off debt. Yeah. yeah. Then that's where we say, all right, stop and okay. pay it off. But that's not the issue here. Okay. And that's the, so I don't need to worry about the Roth IRAs and stuff. Just don't do anything with that. Not yet. Not until okay, this because is I can, because I know. I'll go above that income limit once you become a full doctor. So I can only do it in residency. You'll still be backdooring. So. Okay, so it doesn't matter. It's fine. Okay. And you'll be making so much freaking money that... So it doesn't matter. I mean, 
I, I guess. Uh, I mean, that's, you know, that, 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 that's a strong sentiment, but um, yeah. like saying it doesn't matter, I don't know. But I, we just want to get rid of these. Okay. Yeah, right. first and foremost. Okay. Mm, yeah, that's, that's, I think that's everything, yeah. Let Alfred know what you think about his financial situation in the comments below. And if you want to see these happen live as well as talk with me on a daily basis and have a video chat once a week-ish, feel free to join my private Discord, which is linked in the description below. Shout out to my four cups of coffee supporters, Abdiel Martinez, Mark, Josh Bennett, Clayton006, Tyler Chong, Drew Smith, Timothy Williams, Sam I Am, Jason Spriggs, Nicholas Daly, Tom L, Jay Freedom, and Hans. Eight cups of coffee supporters making the dream come true, Joseph Strickland, Anthony, an anonymous supporter, and Sam V 3 Subscribe and stick around for more. Thanks.